And it definitely, you know, steps on our, you know, you know, I mean, there are literally people just waiting to play. <laughs> and you kind of have to respect that a little bit. So, but anyway, and you had a question? Um, I wanted to say that he and I came from Cincinnati to oh. see you guys on my birthday. Oh, happy and, birthday. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Last night at the show. Oh, well. All right. <laughs> and um, I was wondering when dial song is going to come back. I don't think Dallas is ever going to come back. Um, I was uh, the uh, I was looking at the uh, one of the recorder call machines today in my hallway that I have to sort of shimmy past every day. And I was thinking I should really just throw this away. <laughs> but you know, I guess it's an open question why that was context. the only technology available. You know that, that for some reason. I guess it was just too expensive to get a real system like the ones that, you know, the one that a movie theater, would, or a computer one that worked. You know, we tried the computer. We had a computer one for years and years that did work, but it just, it, like, basically it was, it cost an insane amount of money to get the, the actual program thing built. Like, basically there's no, the, there's no demand for that, like a high yeah. fidelity, like, believe it or not. It also wasn't flexible. That was the weird, yeah. you'd think a computer system would be easier to change songs and stuff, and this was just a... Hassle, you know, it, all this fun and spontaneity of the of the crappy answering machines, <laughs> and the sound quality of the digital thing was appallingly low, which was really weird. I mean, I'm not like you know, I listen to vinyl. We were actually literally talking about the, you know, people who, who listen to vinyl records tend to go, oh, they sound so much better than CDs. They're, they're lying to themselves. You know, actually, they 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 they're nice and they're they have big covers, but they don't really sound better than CDs. But the the actual analog cassette sounded infinitely better than the the weird digitized thing. But yeah. um, of course this was like maybe well, it's like probably 10 like, years I'm sure ago. That's my like the file had could only be eight K or something like that. So <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, mean, I feel like the internet, you know, like the podcast thing really works for us because we can we have a lot more elbow room to do stuff in that and it can reach a lot more people very, very easily, you know, like, you know, the the, the number of people subscribed to the podcast is insane. So it's just if we're gonna dedicate a certain amount of time to doing something that's that's just you know a free thing. I feel like it should at least reach the greatest number of people. Mm -hmm. So apparently there are, there are actually fewer people with telephones now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, question? Um, could you talk a little bit more about what you're doing with these days? Um, well, we just finished. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, um, we we uh, we just finished. Uh, and, and we've done a couple of uh, kids projects in the past few years. Sort of ping pong back and forth between regular rock albums and kids albums. We just finished a, uh, an album uh, called uh, Here Comes Science. That'll be out sometime probably in the next three to six months, I'd imagine, depending on how quickly the video stuff gets. And they're also, the kids' projects are also DVDs with animations and stuff. So um, it's a little bit more relying on other people to wrap up their stuff to get that done. But, um, uh, and we're working on a, a new rock album that, you know, will be out probably in the fall as well. So, you know, it's like we're very busy recording. And we do this thing uh, every month. We are performing at this club called La Poisson Rouge in downtown, which is um, where the Village Gate used to be. It's uh, it's just like a new club that just opened up. And uh, so, yeah, we actually just played there last night. Yeah. Once a month? Yes, once a month. Yeah. yeah. And the, well, the, we should bring up the... the, the, the I'm just actually wondering, how did that, we got a piece of hate mail already <laughs> about... It wasn't, it was, it was hostile mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, did, how did that woman find out about this? We did a song about evolution. Oh, because I, I, me, I mentioned the, the science record and, and, in, a, in an article oh, she in she Washington, D.C. She didn't hear the song, she just no, knew no, no. its existence. I, I yeah. thought she didn't hear the song. Yeah. Um, she was apparently you know, irate that we, that we supported the idea of evolution on a record about science. <laughs> yeah, it's really, you know, I mean, I have to say George, George Bush has done a very good job of just changing, like, the base level of, like, what is nor considered normal. Because I, you know, having grown up with science records and, and scientific theories being pretty non-controversial, <laughs> it seems like you know, all of a sudden you're, like, opening this crazy, like, culture war, Pandora's box, you know, <laughs> gravity, hmm, I don't think that's actually, you know, so, so um, it's, it's very strange, I mean, you know, and we're making this project for, you know, Disney, who, like, run from controversy, like, you wouldn't believe, so, um, <laughs> it's strange, but, and, and the, and the strangest thing about it was it came through the, the, our MySpace page, and, and the woman's actual screen identity 
is like TMBG something. You know, she's an actual bona fide super fan. And and that actually that's you know that's the sort of the you know the weird thing about you know being in a band is you know you spend a lot of your energy just trying to go like hey, everybody we're over here like please try to like us you know <laughs> doing the thing that we're doing and then like when you do something like you know support a political candidate or something all of a sudden you find people that you like you know you you found and won their you know hard earned support and all of a sudden they're just like we hate you now right? <laughs> you know which I mean it's a, in, in, there's a positive side of that which is that we obviously attract more than one kind of person. And you ditch the losers. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't but you have a problem when you wrote about the sun? Like, going around? Oh, 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 the, you mean like the, the actual fact checking? Oh, oh, the, no, the, the, the sun going with the sun with evolution? <laughs> Did she not have a problem with the earth? Right? Oh, with the well, sun? Well, she's just a highly religious <laughs> person. <laughs> you know, she's a highly religious person. I mean, she, you know, she just, she believes in, you know, the Bible in a, in a very literal <laughs> way. I mean, there are a lot of people who do. You know, the term like unfair by a whole, that kind of thing is like whether it requires, you know, in other words, like people sort of go along with a general idea like, oh yeah, science is okay, it's medicine is good. But then if you nail it down to something specific like evolution, that that suddenly opens up right. the problem, you know, whether where they're really, and it just, it makes you think that people don't think very hard, you know. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, probably last second, we sort of submitted the finished album last week. It'll be interesting to see, like, if there's any kind of crazy blowback, from I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> right, because I mean, we really, we really did write the project about science, and science is really only about one thing. So it's not about it's not about everything. Right. So uh, do do one or both of you have a special affinity for science, and is is Triangle Man really about physics? <laughs> uh, yes and no. <laughs> Short answers. Yeah. No, I think we we both think science is cool, you know, and we're old enough now that we won't get beat up for it. <laughs> um, uh, but, um, but now, Triangle Man, that's an example of that kind of song where there wasn't, there wasn't a, a really specific hidden meaning. <laughs> I feel like I explained that in the, in the yeah. film at some point. Um, right. uh, uh, it's, it, you can't say it enough times, though. It, it, uh, uh, it's, it re it's a what you hear is what you get song. There's nothing else in my mind that the song uh, uh, Particle Man is about. It's just, it's just uh, an impression you get from that particular set of lyrics. And, you know, that's, I think that's what's nice about it in a way. It doesn't, it doesn't need annotation. You know? I mean, some songs do. I think, I think it's, it's fun to find out that, you know, um, 25 or 64 was about something specific, <laughs> or I don't know. Right. Uh, <laughs> That there are stories. There are stories. It's about um, But there, yeah, I mean, sometimes there are stories about behind the songs. Behind Blue Eyes is apparently about a Nazi. Oh but yeah, about the, the song yeah. by the Who, Behind Blue Eyes, is about an, an impossible topic, which is just like it's about a Nazi soldier. Right. And and what's funny is that even when when like you see all these you know behind the music things with you know Pete Townsend who does this kind of thing like all the time, he never talks about that, which is a uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe did he? Maybe John Lennon Russell wrote it. Maybe that's why. I don't, I don't know. know. But it's a strange. It's a strange song when you read the lyric. It's absolutely. But anyway, you have a question. Yeah, there's a the scene in the movie where you're in your apartment recording "I like, Can't Hide from My Mind," mm -hmm. and I remember hearing that song, a dial song, and mm -hmm. the first time I saw the movie, I remember thinking, "Oh, yeah, I remember that song." Right. And I was wondering if you, if seeing the film uh, made you had a similar reaction that actually caused it to be, be recorded for the spine. Oh, um, I, my, my main response was I wish I had shaved that day. <laughs> uh, or looked in a mirror to see what shape my hair was in. But, um, uh, you know, I, I think that might have actually been, been part of it. You know, there are a lot of songs that are, you know, kind of get written and then kind of get shuttled away for no particular reason. Sometimes, you know, they're hard to arrange or hard to figure out what, what how they're going to fit in. But I mean, we write very actively and, and uh, you know, things sometimes things just kind of slip slip through the cracks, but um, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty long interval between. Cause that's actually the very first thing that was shot for the film, and it was kind of a surprise. Like there wasn't much time between the time that AJ. Um, oh, does, if anybody has a, a question for AJ, I, I can no. call him on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he 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 would he's, he's actually he 